okay hello i'm abraham audio and this is the backstory video for the book i'm currently working on titled unfinished the art of never finishing okay so uh the purpose of this video is basically uh to explain the motivation behind the book how the um thought for the book came about uh the process of writing the book uh, and the, the, the kind of content that uh, is within the book. So I have sort of an outline here which I'll be following just to make sure that everything lines up. So uh, let's just let's just get into it. The inception. The idea really came as a fallout of a couple of events that unfolded in my life. Uh, that was towards the end of uh, 2019. I was just about to conclude my industrial training and my industrial training project was really really stalling I was stalling on it I uh, had like a backlog on that and a couple of other works that I had to do which I just for some unknown reasons couldn't get around and so in the midst of all that I felt like um, there were I, I felt like I knew so much about how to not finish things that I could literally write a book about it and indeed I you know just said yeah I should probably do that so so uh, what this tells you or what this means rather is that I wrote this book as an exploratory journey not necessarily as a um, you know Industry, you know the standard industry practice of trying to establish yourself as an authority or something. No, that was not the motivation um, I actually wrote it as an exploratory process into uh, the world of unfinishing because um, Right um, I'm getting ahead here, but let me just put it out as I wrote I actually got to understand the whole process better and all and it helped me like funny enough writing the book helped me navigate out of that uh, place of uh, consistent unfinishing so there was just like a lot of pressure uncertainty and all that around the the time when i had so many things that i hadn't done okay and then I knew I had to write about it, but I just knew it wasn't a, a single thought train. You know, I, I, I usually write sometimes, sometimes um, in my journal and stuff like that. But I knew this wasn't just an article. It was bigger than that. And to actually work around the idea and prefer solutions that would actually move one forward would take su a substantial investment of time to research on the whole on the topic and solutions and all that and the psychology behind it right so that, that was when I knew it had to be a book not just um, a side thought so funny story um, the outline for the book I, I, I came up with the outline for the book in less than 30 minutes <laughs> crazy it was like um, I was sitting there all right here on this table and all of a sudden it just it just hit me and I knew <laughs> I had to write the outline so funny story um, I wrote the outline for all the chapters there are five chapters in it so I wrote the outline for all the five chapters and all the sections and it was when I was done I, I realized oh this is actually lines up so it was as if I had my brain had been working on it while I had not been consciously thinking of it right funny but so as soon as I was done with that I got in touch with um, uh, the person who is now um, the official editor for the book and I, I kind of like uh, through the idea at him and he was like yeah it, it's a great one like a lot of people struggle with this uh, behind the scenes but wouldn't come out to say so I was like okay you know solving the secret problem that almost everyone faces so like awesome yeah 
then so that gave me the confidence boost to actually go on with it and then um, and then um, just as I had said earlier I I knew the topics I wanted to cover I knew the topics I wanted to cover but I didn't know exactly what would be in them right so and uh, this whole concept of um, writing as an exploratory journey was something I learned from uh, Jordan Peterson like he really influenced me during the whole period because um, I watched a lot of his videos read his books and stuff like that so it really opened my mind to the fact that I didn't have to be an expert to write about it I just had to be I had to literally be one who was experiencing it and seeking it seeking out uh, those ideas and in the process um, whenever I was working on a particular section or stuff like that you know the ideas came together because I would allow myself feel what it would be like and then um, work with those um, those um, sensations now to now know okay this is where I should be focusing on this is what I should be focusing on um, you know so it wasn't like a methodology kind of book so, so to speak or isn't isn't was it whatever you get the point uh, okay so I'll just move on to uh, the writing process now something I I did during this process because I didn't have preconceived um, content was I listened to myself a lot and the things going on around me so I I started to journal more actively to pen down ideas as they, as they swung through my mind because I I got into this state where um, I could be working on a particular section of the book but then ideas for another section will come and I would um, just over time it'll build up in my mind and then one then and then i'll write it down in my journal and then three four weeks down the line i'll be like oh so this is where this ties up to this so um the, the journaling really really helped to uh, put piece together ideas that seemed independent but somewhere along the line worked together you know um so it required intense levels of self-awareness and objectivity actually because one thing i was trying to avoid was to i was trying to avoid a situation where i would write entirely based on subjective experiences right just based on my experiences what i think no i wanted to so whenever i felt something whenever i felt something or i felt this was how something worked a concept i was currently working on i would research on it check out what it um academics are saying what they're saying about it what the psychologists are saying what um what social science researchers are saying about it you know because these guys work on so many concepts you would not believe it there's a whole lot of these research uh, papers online so um over the weeks i pour on research upon research just to validate ideas or to discard ideas because even in the process I started to realize that some thought trains that I thought were this and that based on the research I found and I started to understand myself better and indeed the archetypal unfinisher because most humans uh, work in ranges so it's like so we are different but in a way there is this bandwidth within which we all operate so so I started to get more insight on how the archetypal unfinisher sees things and all that based on objectivity and research and then passing them through um, the series of times when I've had to unfinish things. So putting all those things together made it come from the standpoint of um, someone who was experienced, who has experienced and knows the feeling of unfinishing and then the objective ways to solve this, these problems, not uh, by giving, um, what's it called now? Yeah, okay, I put this here. Not by giving um, toolkit solutions, you know, they'll tell you the five steps to this, the seven, I, on a personal note, I deeply, deeply hate those things because um, most of those kind of toolkit solutions are 
99.89% of the time out of context. Like, what was the, the person who developed the solution? What was he thinking about at the time? What, what were the circumstances around his life at the time? You know, what, what were the, sorry, what were the influences he had around him at the time, him or her? at the time that led to these solutions right so what i did was i tried to detach um, my situation from the exact um 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 circumstances around them to dig deep and see the objective um occurrences that were going on such that i could um draw out the principles which you could apply in any situation within a broad range and work it out to be to have a great solution because um, for someone on finishing in um, something highly logical now and someone on finishing with in something that's more artistic you know the dynamics are different for some for someone in an artistic um, world now definitely the level of your state of mind affects the kind of um, um, creativity that comes out of it right and stuff like that also but then in contrast, okay, but also um, what's it called now, in a more logical type of thing where it's just like calculations and all that, you know, the, pro the problem is mo probably more towards the side of uh, discipline and getting yourself to put yourself together in one place and just do that stuff, right? So the dynamics are very different depending on the nature of the problem. So, so the focus was on how to develop um, principles rather than toolkit solutions to the problem of unfinishing principles that would help you understand yourself you know go go on a journey of self-discovery of uh, self um self um uh, consciousness now or, or what, okay self-awareness that's a better term to develop uh, that um the levels of self-awareness required to see what's going on and understand when when you are in a place of unfinishing you know what what's currently going on am i stalling because um because i just don't like this task or am i stalling because of uh some other deeper rooted psychological um constraint that i'm currently within you know so there's a lot of dimensions to look at it from so these are some of the things that we discussed in depth in the book you know pulling together w research works and um, focusing on the objective side rather than the subjective experiences right and one thing that also helped was um, what I like to call guided free flow so I really did not uh, premeditate the ideas so I just I just have I just have at the back of my mind the message I'm trying to pass across and then I'd read on the research papers to ensure that I, uh, the principles I'm working with are time tested, right? They are validated um, assumptions. No, they, okay, they're not just assumptions out of the blue, but they actually are validated theories that will work on the average person, right? So once I had my head straight and I had the message I wanted to pass, then I just let my mind piece it together and it's amazing the kind of things that result from that uh, process you know just shutting out the noise in front of the computer and just putting out those words it's crazy but it works like magic okay so um, and I, 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 I was I was shocked yeah so to speak when um, the reviews started coming in from the, the a couple of guys I gave the first drafts to you know um, the responses I was getting was actually in tune with the goal I had and I was like wow this is amazing because I didn't want uh, it to be just one of those um, self-centered books trying to uh, validate what the author knows or trying to um, bully the reader into stepping up their game or stuff like that no it's it's more of a a book that says i've been there i understand how you feel um this are recommended ways which you can help yourself to come out of this 
way of being and 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 aim higher right so just it's it's a book about aiming higher and becoming a better version of yourself not necessarily bullying you into any particular way of being it's it just lays it out there in front of you and you just know okay this is what it is do i take it or do i not take it it's your choice right so at the end of the day the principles are there the recommendations are there um so and because they are from um researched and time-tested principles you know these are not just um objective thoughts of the author on how to just get this thing done right so that's one of the major things that i think makes this different okay so um at the end of the writing process you know i got talking to um my i'd say um book project consultant now uh he's going to kill me because <laughs> that's not the kind of conversation we had but i think i see it more like that because i've been getting a lot of insights as to how this whole thing works in, the, in my conversations with my editor okay so uh i just want to talk about the vision of this book now one of the reasons why um 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 the process of releasing the book has not been quite um as fast paced as it should be is because um beyond uh, just the write-up i w- the vision for the book is to see that it's something that is um appreciated for the value it carries so we're not just doing ebooks we're planning to do like the hardcover um get still working around the book cover designs and all those things around it because we want to hit it right so, such that um the packaging so to speak um carries the same weight as the content right so the vision is for uh, this book to reach out to as many and because of the uh objectiveness of the book is not necessarily uh, bounded by culture so if you're from the us europe africa wherever you are you can resonate with the content of the book and the major uh, okay the major target now for this book i'd say is for people in their teens all the way up to you know um early 30s late 20s early 30s that's the the audience we're looking at so because you know in today's world uh the millennials you know those are the kind of challenges we face a lot of time things like procrastination and those kind of things so um we're looking at um getting this book out there to help people navigate because beyond um just finishing right that journey of um self-awareness that you have to go through really opens your mind up uh, to the possibility that you have in you as an individual and it helps you to aim higher so it's it's majorly a guide is a guide to you know self-awareness and related terms that will help you to solve most of your issues from the root cause not just by applying this method that method you know and all that it's about a holistic process that starts from the basics right so um currently um from our conversations with the from my conversations with the editor we're currently looking at um a budget of around a thousand dollars thereabouts for this whole process you know the work working out the content the packaging the uh channels to market and all that to get it into the hands of readers it's going to cost around a thousand dollars so we're still working around the modalities of that and you know we've all, we're also open to uh what's it called now we're also open to have people be part of this um, success story so we have a link below this video where you can donate um whatever amount you'd like including the whole one thousand dollars that's about four hundred thousand there um to fast track this process of getting the book into the hands of readers so 
if you love the idea of this book and you know you want to be a part of this journey this uh, process of um, self-awareness and getting to know yourself better and to finish the thing you start uh, from from a holistic point of view which is not just about the seven step five step or all those kind of things but more about getting to the root of your person and working it all the way up to how you act it out you know do 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 follow up with that link see what's there see what's on there and you know um donate to this cause and give towards it let's um make this work together because you know i i really i truly truly believe in this idea and i i believe you do too because if you're watching this and you're an unfinisher or you know someone close to you who is an unfinisher you know how devastating it can be even um psychologically when when you're found in this dark place where you're just um clouded with a lot of things you have to do but you don't even know how to navigate so i believe that it's going to really clear up the air and help people to aim higher and get to a higher sense of self-awareness and begin to meet up with these um, challenges more equipped okay so that's that we're looking at um within the first quarter of next year the book should be out so that's like a lot of months from now i know we're giving we're giving all that time because we know it's a whole process to get to where we want to get to with the project it's really massive and so Thank you so much for watching till the end. Once again, I'm Abraham, CEO of Periva Energy Systems, um, a green energy company that installs solar inverter systems for homes, businesses, and institutions, and the author of my forthcoming book, Unfinished, The Art of Never Finishing. Currently, a uh, final year student of chemical engineering. I'm 22 years old, so, you know, I believe there's so much ahead um, have a lot to do and we just we just want to keep up with this journey so do make sure you check out the link donate to make this project uh, move forward because we want you to be a part of the success of this journey so thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much <laughs>